Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Itela Jessa. I'm software engineer and Google, Google developer expert for Flutter and Dart. So I do mobile and web uh, development. So today we're going to talk about effortless state management in Nostri 3 with Pinya. So we're going to look out how we can manage in a stress-free way our application state. So what is Pinya? So Pinya is a state management library in Nest3. So if you have ever used Vuex before, you know that you have to write some boilerplate code and a lot of code to set up your state and to hook it to your components so it can be really uh, cumbersome. So that's why now we have a lightweight alternative that offers performance and a more flexible API. So what is Pinia? As I've said before, Pinia offers you reactive store that you can access everywhere from any component without the need to have a complex configuration. So with Pinia, you can easily manage your view or Nest application state because we all know that uh, state management is a very critical subject and is very important to know how you can manage your data and how you handle data flow from every part of your apps. So it's really important. So why should you use Pinia? First, you should use Pinia because it's now is the official way, official library to manage your state. You can, if you want, you can use Vuex, but the view, the view team recommends you to use Pinia since it offers a better approach of state management and it's lightweight you don't need a lot of code to configure it and it's easier to work to work with and it integrates with a lot of libraries so how do you install pinia and how do you use it in your nurse app so first you have to write npm install pinia and you also have to install the pinia module for Nust. And after that, in your nurse.config.ts file, so it's a TypeScript file, you have to register your the Pinia, the Pinia module here. So we'll look into an example, practical example on how we can use Pinia to manage our app. So for example, let's say we have some money somewhere and we fetch some data from an api so the api will give us our balance our balance and also the currency so yes the interface that represents our balance so we have the the the, the, the actual balance is a number and the currency so it's a string so how can we go with with that? First, you import an a function from Pinia, uh, define store. So we define our store. We give it a name. The name is balance. And we define our state. Our state is the balance here that will hold the data we will fetch from our API. So if you noticed, if you have used Vuex before, you you have certainly known that we have some concepts like uh, mu uh, mutations and actions. But here in Kenya, we do not have any more of those. We have only actions. So with action, you can set your, your state. You can give some values to, to your state and manipulate it 
like you want. So for example, here we set we set our, our balance and we have another method to fetch the data from our API. So bear with me with this part because it cannot be that clear for you, but keep in mind that we have two methods, one to set the balance and one the, the other one to fetch data from an external API. Yeah, so here we, after fetching the data from the API, we set the balance with the result. Notice here that we have typed our state with this type, balance response. And we have getters here as well. So getters is a lot used to derive some state from your actual state. So here we, let's say we extract the amount. So the amount is, is what? The amount is in our balance response here type, we have a balance here, a balance data. So we have, we access it here. And if the data is null, we return zero, simple. So let's go to the next slide, how we can use a uh, nest pinia in your uh, components. Before that, I want to say that uh, nest tree is very easy to use and it offers us a lot of benefits like you can break your your stores in um, modular pieces. So if you have a big app and a lot of features, you can break your features into stores like you have a store for authentication, you have a store for payments, you have a store to handle the whole management in your app and so on. So it's up to you how you want to break and uh, dispatch things, but it's very interesting to to use this uh, this benefit that North Pinia give gives us. So, if you want to use the this state in your component, simply you import it like use balance store. So notice that here, this is is name the name of the the store. So you simply import it like const balance store, use your balance store. And uh, in our mounted hook, we fetch the data. So internally, this makes an API call. So we make an API call to fetch the actual balance value. So once the data is fetched, the data is assigned to our state value balance. So the value will be stored in this balance here. And now we can use it in our component here, the template, template tag. So simply we can access the balance store dot amount and balance store dot currency. So it can be easily accessed in your component. So here, like here. So this is the actual component I was uh, showing you. So give me a minute, I will, yes, I will disable this and so yes, this is the value we got from the API and we manage it with our pinia tree state here. So notice the value here and the currency here. So we can see that with less code, we can active more with pinia. So well, what are the limitations of pinia? Pinia can be considered as uh, a relatively new uh, library. So it cannot be the best choice for every application. So 
you have to wait the pros and cons and decide to use it. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I'm at the end of my talk. Thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, we do have a few questions for you. Um, let's take a look. Is uh, is Pina really necessary given Nux built in U State composable? Please, can you repeat? I didn't get you. Please, can you repeat? Sure, sure. Is Pina really necessary given Nux built in U State composable? Use. Uh, let, let me go back to the. Uh, I go back to the. Yes, yes. Okay, use that. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, if you have like a, a complex set, uh, use that is not the way to go. So, for a simple application like. Uh, uh, shopping cart or a to-do list, for example, you can use the, the built-in use state com com composable. But for complex applications, when you have a lot of features and you have to manage how the data flows from a component to another component, uh, not using use state will be uh, will give you uh, he headaches after. So. I will recommend to go with uh, Pinia. Thank you. Uh, next, next question. Is there any reason to continue using uh, Vuex with Next? Uh, sure, surely uh, there, there might be some reason to continue using Vuex with Next. For example, if you have project or uh, like a big project that you have started with Vuex. So it might be difficult to switch to uh, Pinia for, for you. So that's one reason. And also if you have used Vuex for for years, switching to a new a new, a new library can, can feel like uh, difficult for you. Because uh, humans feel uh, feel reluctant to changes, so here. Yeah. But like I said before, uh, Pinia is easier easier to use than uh, Vuex. So if you have a good command of Vuex, you can easily switch to Pinia with no effort. So here. Yeah. It's, it's up to you, but I will recommend you to use uh, Pinia. And also, uh, there will be no more uh, updates to the Vuex library. So you can have like uh, parties to the Vuex uh, source code. But in in the uh, upcoming uh, months or years, there will no more, there will be no more support to to Vuex. So I think it it's uh, a wise choice to to stick to uh, Pinia. Thank you, and I I love this. This is the last question we have for you, and I I really like this question of should someone use Pinia to fetch all the data for their app, or should they go directly in Pages and Components? Okay, uh, this is like uh, a design choice. So if the data you ask, the data is used in many components, it's better to fetch it from uh, your your Pinia store because doing that you you can leverage the re reusability. So mm -hmm. if the data is used in 
like three or four components, it's better to use it from, it's better to fetch the data from your, from the Pinia, Pinia store and you can use it everywhere. And the data is accessed only from your Pinia store. But if in, in the contrary, the data is only accessed in that component, is no use to set to fetch it from the uh, from your store. All right, thank you so much for all answering our questions and joining us today. We look forward to hearing from you again. And uh, I know we had a few questions left over, so um, I believe you'll be checking out the chat as well to possibly answer okay. there. Thank you very much. <laughs>